welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. Today we're going all I am reviewing the Camila Cabello Havana collection with L'Oreal. The packaging is everything. I mean, look how gorgeous these products are. So we've got like the aqua green with the beautiful flowers with the gold embossing on it. I think they're really gorgeous products, but I have tested them out in this video to see if they are worth the hype, worth the investment, and yeah, what these products are really like. So if you wanna see what products I've used to create this look and what I think of them, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is put on my base. I'm just gonna take the YSL uh, Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This is in, I don't know what the shade is called, but it's the pink one, basically. And this is a really good color corrector. Um, I don't know if they have a primer in this range. I'm presuming not, because I didn't get it in the press packet but this primer is so nice on the skin you can see it's making my skin go a little bit pink but that's going to neutralize once we put the base on right now foundation wise i mean i'm probably just going to take my favorite foundation ever um, i'm sorry if this is boring for you and you've watched me use this foundation a million times but this is the best foundation ever it's my favorite i just went to selfridges to buy another one but i'm going to use the last little drops in this old one that I have that yeah I've used to death um, and I'm gonna mix it in with the Camila Cabello Havana sun lit bronzer now it does say on the back that this is a liquid bronzer it's hydrating lightweight and blendable it says you can use it alone or mix it in with your foundation for an instant Havana sun lit glow so that is what we're going to do i'm going to take the medium to dark mm, should i take the light to medium let's see nice look at that let's take the medium to dark because as you can see it does blend in quite a lot so i do want a little bit of the color coming through i'm going to take this brush which is the complexion at blender brush from real techniques so i'm just going to take a dab of my YSL Touche Eclat the Tanks. So oh good, if you haven't tried that foundation, then you just need to. Um, and I'm gonna pop a little blob of, oh my God, look at that, oh, it looks so cool. I'm gonna mix that in with the liquid bronzer. It's definitely deepened things up. This would be nice for going on holiday if you just wanna go a shade darker in your foundation say if you are tanned like me if your face does not tan mm, i'm not like dying over it i'm gonna try and put a little bit of the bronzer in the medium to dark on my cheekbones and see if i can contour with it i mean to be fair it doesn't say that you can put it over foundation so this is just like a test really well that's quite nice just like really naturally contouring I wouldn't recommend to put it over your foundation. I think it looks okay, but you know, you're better off just using a normal bronzer to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not completely sold on that. I'm gonna add some concealer. I can't find my L'Oreal concealer, so I'm just gonna take my YSL Touche Eclat. As you can tell, I'm pretty obsessed with YSL at the minute. I feel like I 100% need concealer with the fact that this foundation base is quite dark at the minute so kind of just putting that everywhere to really lighten things up literally just before i started filming this the doorbell rang and someone this guy had hit sunny's car he's like scraped the side he was so apologetic and just like he was with his son and his son was like we're so sorry i'm scared and i was like oh don't be scared and he was like son we've got to do the right thing we've got to be honest oh, oh my god he could have drove away like the fact that he was honest was really nice so he gave me his number and me being like the ridiculously trustworthy person i am was like okay cool like no worries thanks for your number and then he was walking away and i thought uh, maybe i should have checked that this was his number and he didn't just wrong number me so i like quickly called him like i'm just checking this is the right number that's all been fun not right now we're going to move on to eyes i have these two eyeshadows now i'm not 
the hugest fan of singular eyeshadows just because I do prefer a palette. I feel like just using one or two shades isn't quite enough for me. I want to like build up and use more. Um, but I will give these a go. It does look like a really cute colour actually. So this is in the shade Control. It's like a deep brown and it's a gorgeous metallic. So let's see what that looks like on the lids it looks like quite creamy it feels very very soft so let's just with my finger i'm gonna pop that onto the lid and blend that out just to soften the edges blending out really nice actually i guess this is quite good because normally in an eyeshadow palette you love like one or two shades and just use them all the time and um, so this is definitely a shade that i would wear quite often. I feel like it's a nice shade that you could wear during the day but also in the evening as well and it's nice I've literally got this on on its own. I never wear like one eyeshadow but actually it looks really really nice. There's no fallout or anything like that. I'm really impressed with this. It's gone into the mirror to look like off camera without the lights and oh my god I love this colour. This is definitely going in my kit i love the shimmer that it gives i'm dying over this color just to emphasize and define the eyes a little bit oh guys that scared the life out of me it was like the most aggressive knock i thought that the guy was coming back oh, and i don't know what was going through my head i thought he's gonna punch me the guy who's just hit sonny's car because sonny's just called him and said he's got to pay for the money to fix it oh my god I should have left the camera on because if anything did happen, at least the audio would have been recording. But sensible me turned my camera off. Anyway, it wasn't. It was a delivery. My mirror just got delivered, so we're all good. I'm safe. I'm now going to go in with this, which is the Flash Liner in black. Um, what? You can put this liquid eyeliner in your waterline. Like, huh? What? What are you? Oh, it's a nice chunky liner. So we're going to do a nice little flick. It's very easy to use. Well, that took no time at all. Now the waterline, I'm scared to do this. Like, liquid eyeliner in a waterline. Is this going to work or is it going to tie in my eye black? It is going in my eye. It's not like an intense black that like a gel liner would give, but I've got a bit of black there. I wouldn't recommend putting this in the water. I think mean, this is very bizarre to put a liquid eyeliner. Like you can see it is starting to come off a little bit. Obviously it's liquid and it's against the water in my eye. I'm just going to take a little bit down underneath. Look at the difference with my eyes. And then just because I have got this shade called In Love, I'm going to use it just because I've got it. Um, I wouldn't normally wear a shade like this. It's a light pink, but it's a very, very shimmery and glittery. Um, so I am going to pop this maybe just in the inner corner. Oh, okay. That's quite pretty, actually. Just in there, just to make that pop a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit under my brow bone. It's actually quite cute as a highlight. Now the last thing I've got in the collection is the lips. Now these are called the Lip Dews. I tried this one on my hand, which is in the shade... Oh, it's because I ripped the label off. That's crazy. So once you rip the label off to open it, you then don't know the shade. So I don't know the shade of this one, but it's uh, the light pink. It comes out very, very sheer. As you can imagine, it's called a Lip Dew, so it's just a slight, slight tin. So I am going to go in with the... Des Nudo one, which is the chocolatey brown. Love how chunky the applicators are. Oh, that is nice. It's like melted chocolate. It smells so good. What does it smell of? It smells like it smells vanilla-y, chocolatey, like, oh, like caramel, sweet caramel. I think that's what the scent is. I kind of would have wanted it to be a little bit deeper. I feel like it's a bit misleading with the colour in the bottle, it does come out a lot sheerer, but it is a beautiful nude. Consistency is really nice, quite glossy, it's not that sticky at all. 
and glides on beautifully. I wish they would have done like a really gorgeous bronzer in this collection because I feel like it would have fitted in with the theme so much. You want that like Havana glow. I'm just taking this Rodeal um, Instaglam Compact Deluxe bronzing powder the packaging is beautiful and um, i really do like this bronzer shade let's just bronze this up a little bit i feel like i just can't finish a video looking like i'm half done doesn't feel right okay beauty so this is the final look what are my thoughts on this collection i think that the actual design of the packagings and everything is absolutely beautiful i love this aqua with the, with the print on it i think they're really really gorgeous products in terms of what i'd use again i definitely use this lip gloss it feels really nice it's just a really nice subtle glossy nude lip i would 100 percent use this little chocolate eyeshadow i think it's beautiful i was gonna say the eyeliner because okay i've got a really nice eyeliner flick but i don't feel like it's a standout i don't feel like it's any better than other liquid liners that I've got. Let me know what you guys think of this collection in the comments below. And please, please, please let me know what you've been up to. If there is any products that's just launched or you really, really want me to do a review on, then please let me know. Obviously, I wanna do videos that you guys want to watch. So if there is anything you want me to film, please, please let me know. Make sure you follow me over on my Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with what I am up to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.